Hello and welcome. My name is Chris and happy fountain pen day. I'm, I came on here today to do a video about fountain pens because it's been almost a year since I started this hobby again. Um, I used to write with fountain pens when I was a child, but it had been a long time. And I just want to talk about my fountain pens and paper and inks and the little accessories, the things that I love. Um, and I'm making this video a little bit uh, differently. I'll probably be talking about things that, that most of my viewers already know in case some of my friends and family may see this who are asking things like, you know, is this calligraphy um, and what's the difference between a fountain pen and a calligraphy pen, things like that. So I'll probably be talking about some things that are pretty basic. But first of all, I just wanted to talk about the pens that I have inked up right now. Um, I have my Wing Sung uh, 3003 inked up and I love it. It's a little demonstrator pen. It costs two dollars. And then I have my Lamy. Oh, and I should talk about demonstrator pens. What that means for those who don't know is that you can see it's a demonstrator. It shows the color right through. It's kind of transparent. That's all that that means. And I've got three demonstrator pens right here on this little rack. This is my Lamy Vista, one of my very favorite pens. And right now I have in there um, my Noodler's Black Swan in Australian Roses, my favorite ink. It's just beautiful. Um, that's what it looks like right there. This is my ink journal where I write down what I'm inked up with. Because believe it or not, when you get this many pens inked up at the same time, you can get confused. <laughs> and then this here is also a demonstrator pen. It's my little Platinum Preppy with violet ink and I just love this one. It's just about to run out and I've had it, I've been using this same one for quite a while but I've got two little refills for it so I'm all set. And then this is a new acquisition for me. It's a, a Schaefer R2-D2 Star Wars pen that I just love. It's got a medium nib on it and it's really pretty. Uh, right, it's a great writer. And then this pen here, this purple pen is a Gen Hao X750 and it's got a medium goulet nib on it. I know that's a little bit, you know, the, some of the things I'll talk about are a little beyond what beginners would know, but definitely not my most of my viewers. And then this is a Gen Hao 599 demonstrator pen in orange. And I have diamine, diamine uh, pumpkin in there. Uh, I've been using it all the whole month of October and I still have some left that I'm using up. And then this is another Lamy purple one with some purple ink. Let's see what I have in there. I can't remember so I'll have to look here. Okay, I have Diam Diamine Imperial Purple in that pen. And in that Wing Sung, the first one I showed you, the little $2 pen, that's an extra fine nib and I've got Monteverde Purple Rain. I've really loved that ink. I didn't like how it looked on the sample card, but I sure love how it looks in the in the writing, and I didn't even mind that it was an extra fine. This is the Diamine um, Pumpkin. It's beautiful ink. And that's how that Schaefer Star Wars pen writes. So you can kind of see this this book really keeps track of things for me. That That's the dip pen, so it's not currently inked. And then that is that purple pen right over here. That purple one in the middle is filled up with Roar and Klinger Cassia. And that looks a little dark here, but it's been really pretty purple in my notebooks. It's just, it's actually picking up almost as if it was a midnight blue in here. So, um, these aren't all of my pens, but these are what I currently have inked up because I love to have a variety of colors going at any one time. And for every little ink sample I have, I have a card here that has uh, what it is and what it looks like so I can kind of refer to this. So it's it's just a little ring and I love that. And um, some of you have already seen this but I've now had to add an extra tray of uh, ink. An ink tray, another one because I have so many little samples. That's actually primarily what I have for ink right now is samples. And then, so that's what these little things are here for anybody who's a non-fountain pen user. You can use uh, you can test out different inks and find out what you like. So I, I just love that. And then if you get to where, the point where I'm at now, where you know what you like, this is a, a little bottle, I think, uh, see how much is in there. I'm not really sure, actually. I should know. 30 milliliters. Okay, 30 milliliters in there of the pumpkin. 
and then I think this must be 50. This is another little bit bigger. And then the, um, the, my most fancy ink, <laughs> my Amethyst D. Laurel. I love that. So you can see that you could start with just a little sample. If you really like it, you can order your ink. Uh, back here in the back is my fun for later this evening. This is my first Twisby. I, I bought a Twisby Eco, and I haven't inked it up yet, but I'm going to. That's on my checklist of things I want to do today for Fountain Pen Day. I'm excited about it, but I kind of left it for last here. So we've looked at some pens, and we've looked at the ink, and I wanted to show you a little bit about paper and talk about that, especially for beginners or people, my family and friends who don't know. Um, special paper helps with fountain pens because uh, fountain pen ink can bleed through regular paper, but this Rhodia paper with a dot grid, or you can get it in lined, you can get it in any different type, um, and this one here, which is a... Fabriano that was gifted to me in a, in a drawing from Chris Rapp 52 made in Italy. This is another example of good paper for fountain pens. And this is what's called Tamo River paper. Very thin, but it doesn't bleed through. It's very fountain, paper friend, fountain pen friendly. So I've been using that for letters, like to my mom. And then this notebook back here is just a regular notebook. Um, it wasn't very expensive. I, I got some on clearance at Office Depot for 33 cents. But this is better for extra fine, fine, and sometimes medium does okay. And then it'll start bleeding through. So, so that's the sum of the paper that I love, especially love, for writing with my fountain pens. And uh, it's pretty basic for most people. But just to... Okay, and this morning one of my really good friends was mentioning... Um, something my son used to do which was calligraphy and I dabble in that and this is a calligraphy nib right here see it how it's flat and it kind of acts the same way very similar as the fountain pen it does take cartridges and on this set actually has a converter that came with it that I could use to you that just means I could fill it up with any ink I want. Oh, the camera's not quite focusing. Anyway, those flat tips are calligraphy. And then this is what a, a fountain pen nib kind of looks like. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. That's a medium point. And this is an odd pen because it's a dip pen, but it's actually a, a hybrid. It's, it's both a fountain pen and a dip pen. So just to confuse things. Anyway, that's what that is. So, the other thing I want to mention, part of my hobby and part of what I've been working on all this last year is collecting little things to put my fountain pens in. And uh, I did another video on, on these, so I won't go into it big big time here, but this is a, a slotted um, cigar box that I got for $2 that I still have some of my Jin Hao pens in that are not inked up in a Pilot Metropolitan. I love it because it has these divisions. So I probably shouldn't go into too much detail. I've already done that. So I collected these boxes here, and uh, I just love them. And this is a little slider box where I've got extra ink. But you all mostly have seen this. So um, I'm going to ink up this pen later. This is my very first Twisby. And then over here on the right, I've got little things that help me in the hobby. Like I've got a pen case, a Knox Sinclair pen case. I've got an ink syringe that helps me get ink out of these little uh, these little bottles and into the uh, converter sometimes depending on if I don't have very much ink otherwise I can use this little ink miser to pour the ink into and then stick the pen right in it and fill it up and of course I'm not going to go into too much detail today on that and then I have a um, uh, a loop so I can look at the nib and see if there's paper stuck in it or there's problems with it so that's another thing I had to get, or I felt I needed. And this is a grip that I can use to pull nibs off and interchange them. And I know for most people that are watching my videos, this is all very elementary. Uh, but I would really like my family, especially my 12-year-old nephew, to maybe get a chance to see some of these things. This is a blunt tip syringe, by the way. It looks scary, but it's really not. It wouldn't hurt you. And it's just good for for getting ink from one place to another <laughs> carefully, you know. So so that's what I wanted to show you and just uh, mention how excited I am about Fountain Pen Day today. 
it's uh, the day's wearing on, so it's time for me <clears throat> to ink this up. It'll be my first time to have a Twisby, and I'm excited. So, um, I've entered a couple of contests today, <clears throat> and who knows, I might win something, or I just enjoy it. I just enjoy doing that. And then I still have a Goulet contest for their Thanks giveaway, I think it's called, that I'm going to uh, join in on. But I guess this will be quick. It's uh, just about a 10-minute video, but I wanted to show you... Um, my love of fountain pens and what I have inked up and some of the little things that that I enjoy getting to help me with the hobby my little tray over here to hold samples and and all these little cigar boxes that I really have come to really love them <laughs> they're so pretty um, you know that hold my stuff and special papers that I've collected little by little and I use it I'm almost out of this ro um, rhodia paper I'll have to probably look into getting some more so I hope you all have had a great <clears throat> fountain pen day. I sure have. Um, I haven't had all day to spend on it. I had a busy week, had a uh, rosary and a funeral in the family, unfortunately. But everybody pulled together and <clears throat> the healing has begun there. We lost my sister-in-law. Um, so I was busy running errands this morning and I just can't wait to ink this pen up. So that'll be next for me. And... Um, along with some other things I need to catch up on. But thank you very much for watching my video, and I sure enjoy all of yours. And uh, I hope this has been helpful to those who are beginners, you know, just to see what, what the hobby kind of looks like and what the things are that can help you with it. So have a great weekend, and uh, thank you very much for, for watching my video. Bye now.